Hello and welcome to the Cameron and Tia show. I'm Tia, one half of Cameron and Tia with my husband Cameron. And today I am walking you through eight bride prep photos that I need every morning on the wedding day. So this is just like the mental checklist that I run through every morning. I'm making sure that I get each of these components, if applicable. Um, sometimes you won't have all eight. Sometimes maybe you'll only have six. But I'm making sure to make these a priority and make these happen throughout the bridal prep time. So number one is some sort of flat lay. Typically, our flat lays are going to be a couple different variations, but they're gonna include things like the invitation suite, the couple's shoes, the couple's accessories, like any jewelry, any cufflinks, any ties, um, any socks. It's also gonna include their perfume. It's going to include any other extra paper elements like the menus or the place cards. It's gonna include any welcome gifts that they had for their guests at the hotel. All of these extra details that they made such intentional choices about that we wanna photograph on their own as a flat lay so that it's a great setting the scene image to introduce their wedding gallery. But in addition, it looks great in an album and 20 years from now, it's gonna be so fun for them to look back on and say, oh my gosh, look at these shoes that I picked out or like, how fun were my earrings? Just such a fun thing to look back on. Number two is getting a photo of the dress hanging. So we very much simplify this com compared to other photographers that I see. We love to get them a classic shot. Um, typically it'll kind of set the scene. So if we're at their venue, we'll do an area that it really sets the scene. And maybe it's like the reception area or like this huge window bay. Um, if it's at a getting ready suite, we do like the exterior or maybe they have a huge living room that kind of brings in all of the elements of like the style of the Airbnb, um, anything like that. But we love to get a classic shot. We are not doing extravagant, crazy things. I see people like climbing and like hanging things on crazy spots. We are looking for areas that are like ledges or window sills um, and just getting them a really classic, clean shot. Again, this is something so that they have just a photo of their dress on their own so that they can look back on it in 20 years from now. The next shot is the finishing touches of the bride getting hair and makeup ready. I think there's a common misconception that we need to educate our clients on that they think you're going to be there for the entire time they're getting their makeup ready. And the reality is, is especially nowadays when like um, a lot of makeup artists do eyes first and then they do foundation, the first 30 minutes of doing their eye look is not a cute photo when they're also like pale and they have no face prep done. So um, we typically jump in and literally do like the last five minutes. So I love shots of like finishing touches of the eye look. I love shots of anything like blush or bronzer. And I love shots of lips, doing the lip color, doing lip liner. Um, typically it's just like when they're doing lip liner at the end, because again, it's a similar problem if they do lip liner first, which I mean, they're typically gonna do, do that regardless. But if they do lip liner first and then do a color, you do not want a photo of them just like lining the lips. But if they're like filling in, or like doing the edges more, that's a great shot. So um, again, typically it's like the last five minutes. We just keep an eye, eye on the makeup artist team um, so that we can jump in at the end or we'll like check in with them. Um, and then often if it's a, someone that I have a great relationship with and they finish the lips, I'll then ask them, hey, is there any chance you could just do like a little fake touches of like her cheekbones, um, whatever you were putting on there. And then they'll just do a little brushing so I can get a little variety. So that works great. The next shot is if the ladies have any sort of like getting ready attire, I love to get a shot of them all together. Of course, I'm casually getting shots of them like grabbing their dress or like steaming dresses or like hugging the bride or anything like that. But I love to get a group shot um, if they're in pajamas, if they're in rows, if they're in cute rompers of them snuggled on a couch or on a bed. Um, we love to add in other elements if our bride was interested of like popping champagne or popping confetti or jumping on the bed, anything like that just to make it fun and like kind of like the girl slumber party-ish vibe um, of just like, oh, snuggle bug clanking champagne that's so fun the next is obvious of the bride putting her dress on um so we're really conscientious during this time of getting a lot of different vibes within her putting her dress on especially if someone significant is helping her like her mom or her grandma or her sister so obviously we're getting a full body shot we're getting crop shots we're getting details of like hands on buttons or details of like the mom's wedding ring like as she's like fixing the lace on her sleeve because that's significant um so there's a lot of different pieces in there but we're really focused on like the overall of the bride putting her dress on. The next element is the bride putting any of her accessories on. So things like her adjusting her earrings, her spritzing perfume or spritzing perfume, her putting her shoes on or someone helping her put her shoes on, anything like that. Additionally, we're looking for kind of um, full body shots of those and then cropped really detailed elements. I love to make sure that I get her earrings, not just her like putting them on, but then also her like maybe just like 
resting on the bottom or like tucking her hair. I want to get a detail shot of that now because that's going to be really hard for me to remember later on in the day when you add in the groom, when you add in the bridal party, all those things. I'm going to forget about little things like that. So it's great for me to kind of check off now. So the next shot is reading letters or gifts. I will do it either prior to putting the dress on or after the dress on, probably about 50-50. And it kind of depends on the flow of the day. A lot of times I'll do it prior to putting on the dress on. A, if her pajamas or getting ready outfit is like to die for and she loves it and she's so pumped about it, I want to get a couple extra photos of her in that. So that's a great place to do it. But then also B, if I'm kind of having some gaps in the timeline, like for example, a bridesmaid is not finished with her hair and makeup yet and I need her to do a shot of all the girls in their pajamas, I'll then take the bride into a separate area or a separate room and I'll have her do her letter then to kind of fill some time check off something that I know needs to get done in the morning but I don't want to get it done afterwards because we're already running a little bit behind on the timeline so um that'll happen one or one or two places but when a bride reads a letter or opens gifts obviously I'm getting full bodies I'm getting cropped I'm getting any emotion so if she's tearing up if she's joyful if she's laughing um and then I love to get details of those items so close up of her hand unwrapping the ribbon um the gift once it's presented like if it's a framed picture or something um her letter over her shoulder maybe a little text maybe I can put get like the love Adrian the name at the bottom just that in focus or something um to kind of protect some privacy because people's letters are typically super personal but also if I can just get like a little area of it in focus, then that also works. Or like the letter put down on the couch afterwards. Or like the letter put down and she had wiped her eyes with some Kleenex and put them down there. Love that kind of shot. And then the final shot is any first looks that she does prior to her groom. So for example, bridesmaids first looks or father first looks are typically really common, but we encourage our couples to do whatever they want. If that's like they want to do something with their aunts, they want to do something with their grandma, they want to do something with all the groomsmen, whatever that is, we're doing it. And so we um, typically this takes a little finessing because you're cramped on space and you're trying to keep her hidden before she sees her groom. Um, but so a lot of times that's me, like I've just gotten the bride ready in the getting ready suite. I keep her in there and I lay out her train, get her looking her best. And then I bring the bridesmaids in and I have them hold hands like they're literally kindergartners in line with their eyes closed and I pull them out, pull them out, pull them out so that they're in a flat line. And then I adjust them, adjust them so that they all their spacing is good. And then we say, ready, set, go. And we shoot the reaction. I always encourage everyone who's doing a first look I tell them, go ahead and give Shelby um, whatever your reaction is because she's looking freaking amazing and to kind of amp them up a little um, and encourage them to just like literally react. Um, dads sometimes, depending on personalities, really need this cue. Otherwise, they like turn around and they're like, <laughs> no, you like need to give a reaction. But go ahead and give Shelby whatever your reaction is because she's looking freaking amazing. And then you don't need to hesitate. Go ahead and go hug her, squeeze her, love on her, um, ha check out everything. Otherwise, I think that people like see, see the bride and they're like, ah! and then they're like, uh, okay, okay, what, can we hug you now? Like, and it's just kind of awkward. It's an awkward experience for everyone. I mean, it photographs fine because you're not obviously delivering anything in between there where they're like, uh, what do we do now? But um, I think it makes the experience just better for the bride and better for the bridesmaids and then anyone else that you're doing a first look with um, if you tell them in and encourage them to go hug love on them right away. So those are the eight photos that we're looking for in the morning during bridal prep on every single wedding day. If you guys have any, any questions, please drop them in below. I always respond to comments. I love to chat with you guys and we love putting out this free content, but we would love and encourage you guys to like, subscribe, comment. That makes it so worthwhile for us. So until next time, bye.